What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be uh, removing the OEM trunk spoiler and replacing it with a V2 high kick duckbill spoiler, trunk spoiler. Um, I'm gonna show you the process of removing this and installing the new one. So let's get started, hope you like it. So for the removal of the, the OEM fin, you have to, uh, you gotta take off this fabric right here, the little pins. And then you're gonna go into some screws that it has inside. Okay, for removing the, the fin, you're gonna see that one screw right there. I mean, it's a nut. And then it's gonna have all these little pins right here. Just holding it here so at the end it's gonna have some some nuts right there make sure you don't drop it when you take it off i just stick my hand in from this side and then i got it from my hand here what I'm gonna do, I already took off the screw, so there's like already like space right here, like a gap. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put something underneath here like this, and then I'm gonna go inside the trunk, and then I'm gonna look for the, the farthest tab I can find. Just take your screwdriver in there and just push it up, and it should go. It should go with the pressure that you're holding up there. Should be easy just to push it up. Get the other side. You like one side and the other side. There it is. That's all right. So then after once you got one out, that's it. It's easy. I just keep sticking the the little plastic pry tool right there, and then I just keep moving across from the inside. Oh, the next one. moving across and then that's it. This um, the little plastic that holds it in is different than the other ones. This is like looks like a sort of like some kind of double-sided tape. The other ones that I've seen before in the 18 and the and the 19, I seen that it looks like it has some kind of emblem glue or some kind of glue. This one looks like a, just like a little double-sided tape, like a little cut. So there, there it is. I just have to clean it up right now and um. And then I'll get ready to install a new one. I like to save all the little pieces and the screws um, and put it away um, somewhere where you won't lose it. First, I put double sided tape in the bottom of the holes. You guys could use um, tape or anything. And then, um, so when you cover it on the top of the silicone, it doesn't go through. I'm gonna put like a little drop. You know, it's, you don't have to let it dry either because you can put the thing on top of it, so. Make 
sure that it gets the whole hole. Covers the hole. On the on this one's on the side there, we're not able to put the double-sided tape on the on the end, so to make sure you get enough to cover the hole. But that's this is optional. You don't have to do this. You could put a double-sided tape on top of there and just to ensure that there's no water that goes into the trunk. But this is what I did. So this is the tape that I'm using. I think this is like an inch, a little bit over an inch. Actually, I had this tape laying around, so this is the way I taped it. I just taped it like that. Because on this one, I'm thinking I'm gonna put some screws on it underneath, on the existing holes that it has. Um, so that way, it won't get stolen. All right, so I'm gonna be, I'm ready to install it already. Once you put the silicone, just leave it alone. Don't try to play with it because um, it's gonna get messy. So just once, just put a little spot like that. And once you place the the spoiler on top of it, it's gonna flatten out and it should be fine. tape and the tapes to the sides so that way I have somewhere to pull it to from it's already ready to go so just put it on center it more or less and then after go from there let's we'll see if it's gonna be where you want it yeah it looks perfect okay I didn't really have a direction which way I was pulling the tape. I just pulled it up and ta taped it on right there. And then some of them, some of them were going that way. Some of them were going that way. So once I took out one side, I made sure that the corners were straight. This corner and this corner. I took out the ends first. Started taking off the rest of them and just pushing it down. You know, this one at the bottom, I think, last. So what I'm thinking right now, I'm gonna go underneath in the bottom, get some small little screws, and then at least try to put the screws right here. So that way it doesn't um, get stolen because actually I paid for this to get painted. So I got this one in white and I got it painted to the color of the car. So I couldn't find it not, not painted. So I got a white color because it could be a lighter color instead of black. And then um, I added it to, get to the uh, shout out to JNL Custom Auto Body for color matching that and my front lip. They did a good job. Um, it looks exactly the same color. Perfect. The little screws are tiny screws. I'm gonna put them. Um, well, I'm gonna put one right here and one over here. And it should um, even pull it down even further and make it even more firmer. First, I'm going to make a little tiny hole because... A little tiny hole there. Tiny hole over here. So I was just making sure it didn't go through. But it's not gonna go through because the uh, plastic is really thick. I already had checked before. But I also wouldn't have made the hole. <laughs> this 
like so. One right there. Perfect. That's how I wanted the two. It should be perfect. Done. So now all you have to do is uh, put everything back together and uh, you're done. All right. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, and share. If you like what you see, consider subscribing um, and follow me on Instagram.